I'm a delivery driver that finds trash on my route to flip for money. And I'm gonna bank today. I think I'm gonna have to take that. This set of three matching bar stools is in really good sturdy condition. So that's what you want. You want good bones. Whatever you pick out of the trash has to have good bones first and foremost. You can make repairs, you can clean it up, but if it doesn't have good bones, or you know, if it has bugs, leave it. A really great tip for working on other people's trashed furniture is to put on gloves or, you know, maybe wipe it on your shirt like your two-year-old. That works in this instance as well. Now I know I want to sand this down to bare wood, or at least the tops. I'm not sure about the legs yet, but the tops of the bar stools, I definitely want to take down and get this factory finish off. So first things first, we're going to have to dismantle it. It's only held on by four screws, so I'm going to release those four screws and then work it free. And by work it free, I mean beat the shit out of it. I really don't like to paint things that aren't easy, AKA the base of this bar stool, chair legs, chair spindles, stair spindles, any kind of spindles really. Honestly, these legs weren't that bad. They just had a little bit of paint splatter on them. So I'll sand off the paint splatter while distressing and kill two birds with one stone. Lucky for me, the distressed vibe is still very much alive and well in my area. So I won't have any problem selling this and, oh man, there goes my sandpaper. I hate it when that happens. And as one does when they're sanding something below the waist, I assumed the Captain Morgan and got busy with my 80 grit sandpaper on my rotary sander and made pretty quick work out of all three of these bar stools, front, back, and sides. I'll be treating the base of each seat just like the top. I don't want somebody to flip this bench over. Oh my gosh, stop calling it a bench already, Christy. I don't want somebody flipping this bar stool over and thinking that I forgot or did not care enough to stain the underside. So I'm using a gel stain and I'll be doing it on top, bottom, and all four sides. I'm using a beautiful red gel stain to stain the seats. I always use a glove and a single sock to apply this stain because it is oil-based. And do you ever get mid-project and notice that there's damage on it and you suddenly realize that... <sighs> I just realized that the hammer marks on the base of this seat bench are from me. I would just like to take a moment to have us all appreciate how dirty my face is at this time as a grown woman. I look like an eight-year-old boy that's been outside to play. But you know what? That's how I roll. I completely immerse myself in whatever project I'm doing and like 100% goes to that project. And if it happens to get all over me, so be it. I've decided that the stain I used on the seats would look really good on the part of the legs that I've sanded or distressed, but I haven't cleaned all of the dust off of it yet. So I don't, I don't want to take off my glove and single sock. So I'm left-handed cleaning these so that I can then come in and stain them without wasting my glove and sock. So that's why I'm doing, I don't always do things backwards. There is a little bit of rhyme to my reason sometimes. As I said before, this gel stain will sit on top of a factory finish. So I have distressed this base to where it's showing a lot of the wood underneath, but there's still some of it that's painted black. I'm not going to bother with any of that. I'm just going to get my glove and go over all of it. I'm not redipping my sock. I'm just using the residual of what's left over from doing the seats. If you are a lazy painter, more than likely, you're gonna be a lazy sealer as well. So for your convenience, I have listed all of the products I've used in this video in the description below. So for all of you lazy painters and lazy sealers out there, go check these out. That's where you can find the links to get this lazy spray sealer that I'm using that's making this job just that much easier. I'd also like to say that you need to be spraying this in a well-ventilated area and you should be wearing a mask, Christy. That's me. I'm Christy.